Hey folks, Ryan Kennedy here. I'm gonna break down a concept that I've been pondering a lot lately regarding mental and emotional well-being. You know, when we feel some type of discomfort, could be anxiety, could be stress, could be depression, people tend to associate something outside of themselves making them feel better. But first, you have to consciously become aware of that feeling. And it doesn't have to be associated with a negative connotation or meaning. You know, most people claim it's a bad thing. But in reality, it's just a feeling. Becoming happier ultimately comes down to creating better associations with these feelings that arise in your mind. And it becomes exponentially easier to overcome negative feelings when we start to identify them as a trigger to take action instead of trying to mask them. You know, the truth is, pain is one of the best catalysts for personal growth. And what is depression? What is anxiety? It's pain. So while these things can be terribly disruptive, it all comes down to how you frame it. So if you choose to have a perspective and that it's a signal that's guiding you towards a realization that something or multiple things in your life are not in harmony, then it can be a catalyst for change. But it really takes the discipline and the desire to work through these inner demons and understanding that depression, fear, anxiety, all of these emotions, they're not just bad luck, they're not just genetics either, they're a signal. Just listen to it. You know, our society tends to teach people to mask their feelings from the time we're children. Like, oh, you don't feel well? Just put on the TV and distract yourself. Or, oh, you're sad? Let's go get you some ice cream and make you feel better. You know, we have all these different escapisms. And it could be work, it could be alcohol, it could be social media, it could be food, it could, it could be things like exercise. And some of these escapisms can be classified as healthy versus others are unhealthy. But at the end of the day, if you're using them to escape some feeling in your body, and they're not really serving you. The thing is we need to learn to sit with that feeling for long enough to create a positive association and see it as a signal. It's, it's trying to tell you something. Like maybe I should do less of this or maybe I should move towards that. Then we can begin to use these things as a catalyst to improve your life rather than just a vice to move away from something. So this is a realization I've come to uh, that, that really people aren't happy because they're trying to escape their emotions rather than accepting and understanding them. And meditation is one of the most powerful tools to begin to work on this because it allows you the time and space to simply sit with your emotions and your thoughts, to analyze the origins, to come to peace with them rather than continually trying to move away from them. Transformational breath work is another tool I've discovered that's the most powerful technique to achieve a deeper and unconditional acceptance of these emotions and feelings. Experiencing a wide array of human emotions is really how we tap into our greatest power. And it's really unfortunate that most of us have been taught and conditioned to repress our feelings and emotions. So I urge you to explore online meditation practices taught by one of my friends, Dave Hans Barker. Dave and the Yogi Lab team have some of the best resources out there for online meditations and even taking a deeper dive into Vipassana meditations and all that can be done from the comfort of your own home, from anywhere in the world. And then as far as transformational breath work, I host classes every month. And I really urge you to join me for my next breath work class because it's, like I said, the most powerful thing to release stored trauma, emotional baggage, limiting beliefs, things that are holding you back, dragging you around like a dead weight. You know, one of the most common remarks I get when discussing the topic I covered in this video is, you know, hey Ryan, you know, that's, that's easy to say. You know, it's easier said than done. Well, yeah, duh, most things in life are, but that doesn't mean it's out of reach to do. And the breathwork practice I teach is the fastest, most effective way i found to really get in touch with your emotions and have a deeper acceptance and also gain clarity on how to take action, what to do, what to change, what is not in harmony in your life that's causing these different emotions like depression or like anxiety or whatever it might be for you to manifest. So this powerful breath, breath work practice really reconnects you to your heart with deeper love, it helps to quiet the ego so you can really do deep healing, deep work, and leave, you leave feeling just so light. You got weight lifted off your shoulders. You feel grounded, you feel recentered. It's absolutely amazing, folks. And so not only will it help you with all those, it's just one of the most powerful tools, this breathing technique to facilitate personal growth, to facilitate emotional breakthroughs in as little as one session, like we're talking less than an hour class, can really provide you with a life-changing experience. 
So you can learn more about my breathwork classes and how to register and all that by going to the link below this video and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you found it helpful, please share it along to anyone else you believe it can serve. You can find the show notes and resources we discussed at ryankennedyshow.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave a review for the show. Your feedback helps to support me on my mission to positively impact as many people as possible with this information. Much love, everyone.